Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. One of my favorite types of videos to film. Today we are talking about 243 Ambula droppages. So I'm gonna tell you how I do it. We're gonna talk about how much it drops at varying distances, probably all the way out to a thousand. And we'll do it even further than that. But we're talking about 243 Winchester today. And I'm going to be using some Remington core locked. Uh, this particular one is, uh, you can see there, I like to put the dial and then the drop in inches. So if I'm going to do a holdover, I just know my holdover for these. You can see I've put um, 25 yard varying marks. That's how I did this one. And then also the MOA dials because this has an MOA scope. But all that rambling being said, you need to know exactly where you're going to place that round when you squeeze that trigger off, especially if you're deer hunting. You don't want to lose that deer of a lifetime. You definitely don't want to wound an animal. So, very important topic in my opinion. 243 Winchester is a fantastic hunting cartridge. And we're going to take this one out to the range using this core locked ammo. Let me show you one real quick. There's what those core locks look like. It's a lead nose, deadliest mushroom in the woods. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, but, and these have taken tons and tons and tons of deer over the years. Uh, but I'm going to show you real life out there at the range, the drop out of my Weatherby with this 243. Then I'm going to show you on paper, even out further, what that drop chart looks like, the trajectory of that round. Hopefully you learned something. Using these, one, because this is what, a lot of what we hunt with, and two, those lead nose hunting rounds is a lot of what you probably hunt with. Even if you don't have a box of the core locked, whatever you have is probably very, very similar. The stuff we're using here is the 100 grain core lock. Again, so let's hit the range, see what happens. Charge it. You push it in. Oh, that'll stop and gotcha. Oh, Look what you just did. So back from the range, let me show you our 100 yard groups here quick. Like I said, I sight everything in at 100 yards. Did two three shot groups while we were out there. The first one, hey, that's pretty good. A .76 inch group with that Remington Core Lock Hunter Grain at 100 yards. So dead on, still dead on from when I sighted it in pretty much. Maybe could use a slight click over and down, but... I left it right there. I'm good with it. Then if you look, the second group we did, two touching bullseye. We probably don't need to move that scope, huh? And then one, maybe that was me, or maybe it was just getting hot after flinging six of them. But second attempt, 1.130 inch group at 100 yards. Still not too shabby, especially with some hunting ammo. So then we verified our 100. Then I took it at 50, which... I actually forgot to move the camera so you guys didn't get to see it. Uh, but I got that thing sighted in at 100. What if a deer pops up at 50? Where do we need to hold? Is it going to be hit high? Is it going to hit low? Well, this result uh, is pretty much similar across the board if you sight them in at 100 like I do. 50 yards, it's a half inch off, maybe not even that. So if it's at 50 yards, just hold where you want it to hit and you'll still be good. And that is pretty much the same if you sight it in at 100 across the board, regardless of cartridge. I've done this test, a lot of different cartridges. 243 isn't your jam. Go check out the channel. We've done a bunch more. <clears throat> I 
Then we went out to 200, did two three shot groups at 200. Pretty impressed with this stuff. Uh, 200 yards with that same 100 grain core locked. So at 200 yards, I got a 1.23 inch group. That's pretty good at 200 yards with hunting ammo, guys. And holding right here, our drop. That's what the point of this video is, right? To see how much it drops with a 100 yard sight in. It dropped 2.2 inches. So with this setup, sighted in at 100, deer pops up at 200. That means I would need to hold two inches high. If I'm not dialing the scope, which at 200 yards, you're probably better off just holding two inches high. And then the second one here, check that out guys, an even better group. That's a 0.827 inch group at 200 yards. Hey, that's that's impressive in just about anybody's book, I'd say. Uh, and on this one, holding a little lower, so that's a factor there too, right? This one dropped about an inch. So we had a two inch drop and then a one inch drop. Both really good groups. <clears throat> All that being said, Weatherby sighted in at 100 at 200 yards. It's only dropping at one to two inches. We saw there on that live action out the range. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a drop chart for you guys using this core locked ammo, 100 grain 243. Do a little bit of math on paper. Show you this chart. We'll take it, you know, way out there quite a ways just to show you guys the trajectory and the drop of the 243 Winchester. Check this out. All right, guys, so I plugged my numbers here with that core locked ammo. Muzzle velocity 2960. And then we go to the chart. Sighted in at 100. This drop chart is saying it's going to drop three inches at 200. So it's saying a little bit more than what we actually saw there at the range. 300, it's dropping a foot. 400, 28 inches. 500, it's dropping 50 inches. Then we're getting into the realm of what in the devil is 50 inches, you know. You got to sit there. That's over four feet of holdover, right? So you get into that distance. Then we're going to be wanting to look at the scope dials, whether you're trying to hunt with your 243 that far or just slapping some steel out, trying to do some long range fun with 243. You can see our MOA and our meals dials there. So at 500, it's 10 MOA or three mils just about. And then it's losing its speed down there. It's going subsonic these rounds between 900 and 1,000. The 1,000 yard dial is 36 MOA and 10 and a half mils for 243. That's pretty flat. It's not the flattest, but in the grand scheme of things, that's still uh, holding on there pretty good. Then all the way to 1,200 yards, I did this one. 53 MOA or 15.65 mils. But there you have it, guys. 243 Winchester using this Remington stuff. If you have something else, it's probably pretty similar. Good luck in that deer woods. Stay tuned. We got tons of videos coming on the way. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo. Oh.